Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about CAP theorem, which is used in system design to decide which database to use that might make sense for a given set of requirements. CAP theorem is also known as Brewer's theorem, named after computer scientist Eric Brewer. The C in CAP theorem stands for consistency, which means do we get back what we just wrote to the database right away? A stands for availability, which means do we have any single points of failure that can go down? And P stands for partition tolerance, which means can we horizontally scale the system easily such that the system continues to operate despite node failures? The idea of CAP theorem is that you can have any two of these, but not all three. So while designing your system, pick the two that you care about the most. Let's look at some real examples here. A traditional relational database like Oracle or MySQL supports high availability. It has the ability to cope with and if necessary recover from node failures. These databases are also gonna be strongly consistent because we don't have to replicate the data all over the place in real time. So you know that if we write some data, we are gonna get it back right away. There's no question about that. With these databases, what you'll be giving up is the partition tolerance. Very difficult to partition MySQL across horizontally scaled fleets. So if consistency and availability are more important than partition tolerance, Maybe we don't really care so much about scalability, but we really, really, really need to have high availability and consistent data. In such case, MySQL might be a good choice or even Oracle. On the other hand, let's say that what we don't care about is consistency. And it's okay for us if we write data and we don't get that data back immediately, but we still want it to be very scalable. We want it to be partition tolerant and we want it to be highly available. That is, we don't want any single points of failure. A NoSQL data store like Cassandra or CouchDB fits that bill because it has no single point of failure. Cassandra has a sort of ring structure where any host can serve as the primary host. So it has high availability. It's also partition tolerant because we can keep adding more hosts into that ring. What we give up though is the consistency because as data is written that needs to be replicated around that entire ring and that does not happen immediately. So Cassandra is an example where we want availability and partition tolerance, the A and the P and we are giving up the C, the consistency. Most modern databases give up availability which might sound weird to you but when we really talk about availability in the context of the CAP theorem, it's about avoiding single points of failure that can go down. For example, in MongoDB, there's a primary router host and if that goes down, there'll be some downtime till the time it takes for it to elect a new primary host to take its place. So this is usually the trade-offs you make. So you may say, okay, I'm willing to give up availability if it means that for a few seconds my system might go down, I can live with that. But I really want consistency. I really want partition tolerance. And the thing that's generally non-negotiable in the massive systems is partition tolerance. We need to be able to scale these things out as we get more and more data and traffic. Databases like Apache HBase, MongoDB and Amazon DynamoDB when used with strongly consistent read mode supports consistency and partition tolerance and trades off on availability. A lot of these modern databases allow you to make your own trade-offs and choose which side of the cap triangle you want to be on. So that's cap theorem in a nutshell. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.